Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, my malicious black beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, high priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. Please remember that these messages may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to um, you, your lover, your family, your friends, your co-workers, your neighbors, complete strangers, honey, or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know, okay? With that being said, guys, we're going to get on to tonight's reading. Okay, we're going to start off with the overall messages here. So we have here, don't really care anymore. Somebody is feeling like they don't really care anymore. Um, you're feeling like either you have no love life or either you have no love. You're dealing with a lot of burdens right now. Okay, this could be family issues. Feel like you have no family. You have no friends. You could just feel like there's a lot of pressure on you in one way or another. Okay, so we have uh, people spying on you. Okay. Maybe you just don't give a damn anymore that people are watching you, that people are spying on you, okay? Life kind of just don't stop for anybody, okay? Um, and, you know, you deal with crap and you move forward to the best of your ability, okay? Um, and try not to allow it to get the best of you, okay? So somebody is like, they really don't care anymore that people are spying on them. Why? Because they are, they're pure evil, Spirit is saying, okay, people who are demonically possessed, people who are devil worshippers, people who are evil, who are wicked, satanic, demonic, okay? Obviously, somebody who is um, very sinister in some type of way is spying on someone, watching someone, and somebody just, I feel like this has gone on for so long that somebody's just to the point where they just kind of don't give a damn anymore, okay? We have secret spy here, so somebody is secretly spying on someone, or somebody could actually be a contracted secret spy or something, okay? We have, you can't trust anybody here, okay, that sits under people spying on you, okay? So there is definitely a secret spy, an agent, an operative or something around someone, okay? You cannot trust this person. This person is most definitely watching you without a shadow of a doubt. Um, and there's also some type of family disloyalty or betrayal going on, okay? So somebody definitely has some family who's jealous of them, who's envious of them, who have betrayed them in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, Um Okay, um, someone also, you know, your family could be kind of evil. Okay, your family could be the ones who set you up to be targeted, gang stalked, spied on, watched, or something in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, guys. Okay, so let's get some further clarification. Or either somebody's just dealing with some very evil family who never supported them, or was down for them, or loved them, or appreciated them in the first damn place. Okay. So to clarify, um, don't really care anymore. We have here, somebody is watching you illegally and uploading it to the dark web. Like I said, I feel like this is something that has taken place for so long. Um, you know this is going on and you've just gotten to the point where you just don't give a damn anymore, okay? Um, that this is going on, that this is being done to you, okay? Let me skip this down, guys, so you can see it just a little bit better. Okay, so Spirit, clarify um, people spying on you. People spying on you. It looks like people online, there could be people online who are spying on you, okay? I see the devil here, okay? People could, be, that's a part of some type of satanic cult or coven could be spying on you and watching you, okay? These could be past persons in your life, new persons, family, friends, lovers, associates, what have you. This could be the government. Spirit, clarify people spying on you. Who's spying? Somebody, somebody's got the government spying on them. I feel like the, the crazy thing about this is, is the multiple energies here, okay? I feel like there's a lot of people that's watching someone, okay? Um... But somebody most definitely has uh, the government 
the government is watching someone okay they're spying on you but i feel like they're doing so illegally unjustifiably okay without um probable cause without a warrant okay they're using some form of uh illegal surveillance or technology to watch you in in the privacy of your own home okay and your family is in on this okay because both these persons in power and authority who are abusing their power and authority to manipulate and control others to bully others into submission um are in cahoots with your family all of these persons are pure evil spirit is saying okay so this leads me to believe that these individuals are sellouts okay they belong to some type of satanic code of which coven or satanic or or, or a secret society or something like that okay um, there could be gatherings or get-togethers that's going on um, amongst a certain individuals who are spying on you and watching you. Persons are watching you on in various different ways, okay? Somebody could be watching you online. Obviously, somebody is watching you illegally online. This is being uploaded to the dark web, and somebody's making money off of this, okay? Person, uh, there could be persons who's also been recruited to gang stalk or harass you or watch you um, uh, in person. So this could be your neighbors, complete strangers walking by, um, you know, to watch you everywhere you are, everywhere you go. Somebody is a target, okay? Somebody is definitely being gang stalked. Yeah. A lot of online surveillance is going on as well. Spirit, clarify secret spy. Clarify secret spy. So spirit is saying pay attention uh, to the enemy subliminal witch language here, okay? There could be some type of threats or warnings or taunting, hunting, bullying, wisecrack, six, slick shot messages um, that's being spake in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? Um, you need to pay attention to what's going on around you, okay? Um You could have been in the presence or around this secret spy and did not know this person was a secret spy and they could have been dropping some type of hints or clues or subliminal threats or trying to bully you in some type of way, shape, form or fashion, throwing some type of slick shots, wisecracks or just subliminal messages, okay? But you need to uh, pay attention to the witch language that's going on around you here, okay? It's very clarified you can't trust anybody. Spirit, clarify you can't trust anybody. Somebody could be, uh, somebody could be try trying to scout someone. Or there could be scouters watching someone as well. Individuals in the entertainment energy, uh, in industry could be watching someone, an up-and-coming artist, somebody who's very talented, skilled, with particular abilities. Somebody um, could try to approach you with some type of contract to try to get you to sell out, to sign on to some type of label. This could be a record deal or some other type of deal, Okay. Somebody, somebody's mother is definitely a bully, okay? This mother of yours try to act like they're a leader, but they, they bully other people to man, and manipulate and control them and try to bully them into submission, okay? This, this, this mean, abusive mother of yours, this person does not like you, is jealous of you, envious of you, has never been nurturing towards you at all. She could be into spell work. She's a paid to get the spell work done to you or she do spell work herself. She's mean, she's surly, hot-tempered. She could be a fire sign. Um, she could be a secret witch. She's unloving, though. Very envious and jealous of you. She's a narc that needs help, a narcissist that needs help, okay? She could be uh, dealing with some type of underlying mental illness or uh, uh, some type of unhealed childhood trauma. She'd be very hateful and wicked to you, okay? But she's most definitely very dominant, and she's a bully, okay? She's a bully, okay? She's also, she's also involved in something that has to do with your identity being stolen, some type of criminal activity and fraud, okay? Some type of insurance scams as well. Whoever mother this is, bad mother this is, she's, been, she's involved with your identity being stolen. 
she committed some type of fraud or insurance scam okay she's involved in some type of criminal activity and she's trying to set you up to be sacrificed okay to get away with this okay which is quite interesting <laughs> that I literally went through all of that, which clarifies family disloyalty and betrayal here, okay? Like, no lie. You could have multiple persons, whoever you are. Um, I feel like you shine bright like a diamond, okay? You show the world how worthy you are, either through some type of career, hobby, skill, or trade that you have. Spirit is saying that you're a superstar, okay? Um, you're successful, you know, whether you, you know, other, uh, whether you are successful in other people's eyes, okay? Whether you have gotten your accolades or your pats on the back or your rounds of applause or, or you have had this major comp accomplishment, in life, you don't need anybody else's approval to be successful. Spirit is saying that you are success, and success is doing or um, ordinary things extraordinarily well. Okay, and that's who you are, and that's what you do. Okay, thus people are spying on you, watching you, working against you um, as a result to it, of it. Okay, so guys, let's get some. Um, Let's get some further clarification and see what else is going on with the situation, guys, okay? Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages. Please clarify the situation for the collector. Somebody could be trying to cause your death. Somebody could be trying to imprison you. And sometimes it's like one way or another, they want to get rid of you in some type of way, yet they have no legal right to or reason to, okay? Spirit, clarify don't really care anymore. Clarify don't really care anymore. Whoever you are, you could be a privileged lady. You don't care anymore that you don't have any family. You don't care that you don't have a lover. You don't care that you have, don't have friends, okay? You don't care about the burdens and the pressures and the hardships and the downfalls and all the uh, complicated situations that, that are obstacles that are purposely thrown in your way to try to stop you, block you, or prevent you from succeeding or progressing in life. You know people are watching you. You know they're doing so illegally, okay? Um, um, you know, people are making money off of you and um, you're not getting a dime of it. I feel like this has gone on for so long. You have been targeted for so long that you're like, what the hell with it? You know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to sit around here and have a pity party and, and bitch and whine and moan and cry. I'm going to go on with life and, you know, hate is going to hate, Okay. Even though they are invading your privacy, your human rights, your civil rights, as well as your constitutional rights. Okay. Spirit, clarify people spying on you. Okay, so we have official persons. So you have government officials, people in per, uh, people who are in power, who are in authority, who are abusing their positions, titles, and roles um, to spy on you, to watch you, to illegally surveillance you, okay? Um, and this is being done to someone who hasn't committed a crime, who does nothing wrong, who uh, doesn't have a warrant out for their arrest um, or anything like that, okay? Um, these persons are just watching you illegally, unjustifiably, um, which is very un unorthodox. They have no reasoning to. They have no warrant to do so, but they are official persons in power, in authority, in leadership. This could be law enforcement. Um, this could be military. Um, this could be very prominent wealthy persons in power, um, individuals in government on various different levels, CIA, FBI, um, or whomever, okay, that are spying on you, okay? So we're clarify pure evil. Clarify pure evil. Clarify pure evil, please. With uh, the Ten of Cups. Pure evil with the Ten of Cups. These people in your family are pure evil. Yeah, look at this. Look at this family room here. You see how it's empty? Your family is pure freaking evil evil okay they're working with the enemy to try to hurt you or harm you in some type of way shape form or fashion spirit clarify secret spy 
Clarify secret spy. We got false person here. This person is wearing a mask. They're not who they appear to be. They're a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, manipulator, con artist. This person might look good, dress good, speak well, okay? This person may uh, make themselves to appear to be knowledgeable or educated. This person may or may not have a degree, okay? Whoever this person is, they're wearing a mask, okay? In public, around particular people, it depends on who they're around, who, what they act like, okay? How they carry themselves, okay? Um, this person is a secret spy, though. You see how she's hiding her face? She's hot, you know, this some type of shield, some type of mask here, okay? Um, definitely somebody that you need to pay attention to. If you were ever around this person, this person is very suspicious. This person, um, you know, their telltale signs and clues without a person just blatantly coming out and telling you, oh, this, that, or the third, or I'm a secret spy, or this, that, and the other, that you, that if you have eyes to see, that you will be able to notice and understand that, you know, something isn't right with this person, something is going on, this is staged, this is set up, like, you know, and you have to really pay attention, so we have thoughts here on, you can't trust anybody with this record deal here, with the signing contracts here, you got people who are spying on you, people who are high-ranking in power, who are spying on you, who are watching you, there could be even wealthy people, people um, in power who are spying on you and watching you. Spirit is saying that you cannot trust anybody, um, neither the government, neither wealthy persons in power in the entertainment industry. Somebody wants to approach you with some type of contract, um, but it's a bullshit contract. Somebody's trying to convince you to sell you, uh, sell your soul, trying to convince you to sell out. Yeah, wealthy man just wanted to pop out here. So you have official persons in power. This is government People who are work for the government as well as wealthy men and women who are spying on you, watching you, okay? And it's because of your occupation here. It's because of your occupation. It's because of whatever you do for money. People can't stop thinking about you, okay? Whomever you are, you're an artist of some kind, okay? They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop watching you. They can't stop talking about you. They're legally spying on you, okay? And somebody wants to come to you with that 360 deal, 360, um, that 360 deal that's going to have you stuck and fucked and, and, and all kinds of shit for the rest of your damn life until they decide to sacrifice you type of shit. Hold on, guys. Nobody I'm looking at here, I feel like love you, like you, appreciate you, want you, desire you, care about you, have your back, have your best interests at heart or anything. People are looking for ways to sucker you in and fuck you over. Plain and simple. Okay? Um... And that's what's going on here, okay? And they have, it looks like, and I've seen multiple things, okay? They're trying to sacrifice you. They're trying to imprison you. They're trying to They're trying to think of multiple different ways that they can knock your block off in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. It looks like the most recent thing that they're trying to come up with is, oh, let's approach her with some type of job opportunity or business deal or something like that. And... It's you're literally going to be fucked over, okay? It's not going to be a real opportunity, okay? It's going to get you in a very bad situation, okay? You you will regret it for the rest of your life, okay? But you can't trust anybody right now. You can't trust your family. You can't trust lovers. You can't trust fake, phony friends. I'm sorry to tell y'all this, cause but this is what I'm seeing. You can't trust the government. You can't trust especially wealthy persons in power, you can't trust persons in the entertainment industry. You can't trust anybody. You're surrounded by false persons, okay? And there is a secret spy in particular who is around you, who is watching you, who is heading towards you. Whoever this secret spy is, is coming towards you with some type of contract, some type of deal or something, but it's bogus. It's bogus, bro. Somebody is... Seriously trying to screw somebody over for somebody and to uh, uh, the sex trade, prostitution ring, force somebody to sell their soul to the devil and worship the satanic powers that be and Lucifer as their God. They want to use you and abuse you the way they want to and then they want to sacrifice you and get rid of you and make money off of you. Okay, somebody is looking at you um, like you are profitable, but they don't have your best interests at heart. They don't care about you at all. 
And these people, I feel like, have looked at every avenue, sending certain lovers your way to try to play pretend like they like you or, or love you or attracted to you or want to be in a relationship with you, trying to send somebody to you that want to act like they want to work with you, they want to be in business with you, trying to send certain people to you that act like they want to be friends with you or some type of shit. Um looking for ways that they could try to set you up or imprison you or institutionalize you or some shit, okay? Um, so be very careful because they could be trying to um, theatrically set some shit up, guys, okay? Like, I literally had a situation that happened like this today. Like, I'm an introvert, okay? I stay in the house unless I got absolutely have somewhere to go, guys. So um, what happened is is I ordered something from Walmart and it was supposed to be delivered. Now my deliveries are normally fine or whatever. Um, so when I got the, the little picture thing, you know, when they delivered, they supposed to take a picture or whatever. It was on somebody else's porch. You know, I go out to get it. It's on somebody else's porch. Okay. Now I've lived in my neighborhood for like several years. Okay. I like, know of all my neighbors and different things like that or whatever so what i did was it, because i live in a duplex so i you know checked around my place it wasn't here i went over walked across the street to the neighbor you know we're right next door to me and then uh, the house right across from there or whatever and just took a look on their porch or whatever y'all i kid you not so um and i came back in the house and then something there's another door um, where my, my neighbor has, um, their, their, uh, side door. Okay. Um, so something told me to go check on the other side of the house and sure as just say it was on the other porch or whatever, where the package was left. Well, by the time I got that package and walked back around to the house, like I'm hearing the screaming and this yelling y'all is so loud. Um, it's coming from the neighbor on the other side of me, screaming, yelling, cussing her boyfriend out. Like they're fighting. They're having a knockout drag out fight. She's cussing him out. Sounds like she's hitting him. I heard her one time say, where my pistol at? And like, y'all, it was so theatrical. I'm like, this shit is crazy. And by the time I was getting ready to walk back in the house, this boy comes, this man, he comes walking out the house and he ended up walking. I hear her say, would go over and ask her. And so when I heard that, I turned the fuck around. Cause I'm like, I know this bitch ain't. And, and, um, by the time I turned around, her man was walking up on my walkway. And so I turned around and said, I know y'all not arguing because of me. And he was like, well, she was, you, did, did you come over? by the house or something like that or whatever. So by the time I got ready to speak, I was like, I was looking for my package. And by the time I got ready to speak, this bitch all belligerent come out of, I don't like that bitch. I don't care what you like, okay? First of all, this is not your house. It's your daddy's house, okay? Because I know all my neighbors, okay? When I moved here years the fuck ago, bitch, you and all of your fucking kids and your man and all the people you have trotting in and out was not the fuck there, bitch, okay? First of all, you don't understand what I'm saying? But I'm a lady, okay? I can go there with you, but I didn't even pop off on her like that. I let her say what she had to say or whatever. I was like, first of all, I didn't come up to your door. I didn't come up to your house or anything like that. I just, you know, peeked over. You know how you go stand at the, uh, walk up and stand at the end of the, like a little, you know, walkway, driveway type of thing and leap up, you know, get on your tippy toes and look up on the porch or whatever just to see if, you know, they dropped the package there. And I went on to the other house. Now, the, now, let me take y'all back real quick. Because when I walked outside at first, one of their cars, the car was running. And a person was sitting in it. This is how I knew the shit was staged, bruh. So I'm going with the flow. I knew the shit was staged, bruh. A person, the car was running. I could hear the car running when I walked over there. And the person was sitting in the car. And they literally sat there the entire time. So I, you know, walked up down their driveway. Because their shit is like, literally, I can step out of my yard and be on their yard, okay? All I gotta do is like walk to the side of my house, step out of my yard, and step right across and be on their yard. And it's literally what I did. And could see they porch. I technically can look out, I can show you right now, I can look out my window right now and technically see on their porch, but they have like this front and this side type of thing too. So y'all, I kid you not, 
Um, and it was a trip. So anyway, the person was sitting in the car. So I did that. I went across the street. I did the same thing. Walked up their little driveway thing. You know, got on my tip to look up the thing at their porch just to see if my package was there. You know what I'm saying? And I knew the numbers go up higher. So I'm like, it wouldn't have been taken way on up the road or something like that or whatever. But maybe, okay, because this is the first time that it had never come to my door, like where it's supposed to. And I give like detailed directions in the description box of like what to do just because this is a duplex. Y'all, I kid you not. I come back to this damn house. So this girl, so he ended up walking over here. This girl ended up walking up. She done jumped on this man and everything. I done literally like hit this man and everything. I done literally heard her say she was about to pull her pistol out on this man. At this point in time, I didn't know that they was arguing about me. But I know when, when people get to talking and arguing and shit loud enough for you to hear it, it's meant for you to hear it, okay? It's some stage shit, especially when you a target, okay? So this bitch walk over here and she was like, yeah, because I, I don't like that type of shit or whatever. And I'm really thinking to myself, well, bitch, it don't really much matter what the fuck you like. I just told you I was looking for my package, okay? I've lived here longer than the fuck you do as a matter of fact, bitch. You understand me? We could just contact your daddy or granddaddy or whoever the fuck who he is to you because that's who owned that house, not you. You understand? Hold on, guys. So anyway, you know, I'm like, well, it wasn't nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? You would have literally thought that I would have went over here digging on through their personal property and, you know, doing the most this or real suspicious like shit. And the bitch said something to let me know that she was a gang stalker and was some slick shit, y'all, okay? Because she was like, yes, yeah, somebody called me and told me it was this. Now, remind y'all, this woman wasn't like gone from home or nothing. This woman was at home. Her and the rest of her family the entire time. But she slipped up and said, see, I'm telling you, you pay attention to this, the enemy's subliminal witch language. She slipped up and said, yeah, somebody called me and told me that a woman was over here at my house. I don't like that type of shit. Insinuating, I'm like, bitch, look, I got my whole own fucking house, bitch. She was doing it in a way and had jumped on a dude thinking, I, for first of all, bitch, I be, you know, I'm more likely to be fucking with your daddy, bitch. Than to be fucking with your little dude, first of all. And I got my own whole house, bitch, so he gonna come to me, okay? Because I, 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 all of this over here is mine, bitch. Why the fuck, if I was fucking with your nigga, would I come to your house while the fuck you at home? So this is how I knew this chick was an opera. And all this shit was staged, and this was just extra ass bullshit. Like, nobody the fuck does this. You understand what I'm saying? You would have thought I went all up on their porch and digging through their mailbox and all up in their backyard and searching their car. You would have thought I didn't, you know, really violate it. <laughs> Some damn body, y'all. Like, I literally stepped from my yard to their yard and looked up on the porch real quick. It took, y'all, not even five seconds, bruh. Okay? And she was at home the whole time. So if you, and then what let me know, cause, and, and this is what gave her away. Cause when she said, yeah, somebody called me and said a woman was outside my house. Okay. Well, if you was at home, first of all, what you mean somebody called you? Cause they came directly over to me, which means, you know, I'm not a stranger, bitch. Number one, you know exactly who the fuck I am for you to come over here and talk to me about this in the first place so you know it's not just some random ass chick in your damn yard you knew the fuck it was me you just sit up here and cause a whole spectacle arguing all loud with your boyfriend and jumped on him threatened to pull a gun on all kind of shit just for you to trot your wretched ass over here i don't be involved in no mess i don't fuck with nobody this is why i don't even have fucking friends especially female friends these bitches is messy bruh okay and it was extra and I'm sitting up here listening to her, and I'm like, she she just done called herself up. See, these gang stalkers get herself away, bro. Yeah, somebody called me. Bitch, how you in the house at your own house? And you see me, and you know exactly who I am. You know I am your fucking neighbor. You clearly seen I wasn't there two, three, four, five seconds, okay? If there was a problem, you could have stuck your head right out the fucking door to say something the fuck to me then, but you're going to lie to me. Yeah, somebody called me and said some woman was in my yard. The fuck you mean? The fuck you mean? And then you over here fighting with your dude, like slick accusing your dude of lying to you about like, I, I, didn't, I done snuck over to the fuck your house to be with your nigga. Like, bitch, please. Is you serious? 
Are you serious? When I got my own whole house. This don't even make sense. This is how I knew this bitch was up. You understand what I'm saying? Don't play with me, bruh. I don't even play like that, bruh. You understand what I'm saying? So this is the type of shit that they have just set up that it go on, okay? This is street theater, okay? This is shit, and I explain all this to you because I was telling y'all, you need, you can't trust nobody. You need to be careful, okay? Because somebody is looking for any reason to try to trigger you in some type of way, to get you to act irrational in some type of way, to click, to go off, to look like you, you know, belligerent and ignorant, or to say that you committed a crime, or to say that, uh, you know, you you crazy, you out of your mind, you insane, you mentally ill, so they can try to institutionalize your ass or imprison your ass or some shit like that. But see, this is the reason why I got cameras all around my house. So the whole conversation was on camera and shit any goddamn way, bitch, because they walked back over to my fucking yard. You understand what I'm saying? But it was stupid shit. You understand what I'm saying? It was a situation where you would have thought you wasn't at home. You understand what I'm saying? And somebody called you, hey girl, I seen somebody suspicious in your yard and she was just digging around and stuff and looking and stuff and all under this and under that and you come running home real quick and you, but you still wouldn't know who the fuck it is. So this is how I knew this bitch was lying. She was like, yes, yeah, somebody called me. Now remind y'all, I told y'all when I walked out the fucking house, they got two vehicles. When I walked out the house, the gray vehicle that they got, the car was running. I heard it running, y'all. My senses is like a cat. Okay, it was parked up the street, but I could literally hear it running, bruh, and somebody was sitting in it. Literally, whoever was sitting in that car, you seen me step over there for just a couple seconds, and I left there, and I went across the street, and I did the same thing at that fucking house to look up on the porches to see what's my package there, okay? And by the time I was walking from their little walkway, the little gray car had been pulled off, rolled up our street to the stop sign and went straight through the goddamn stop sign. Y'all went five minutes to fuck later. The gray car that came to fuck back. You know what I'm saying? So they literally sat there and watched me the entire time. The gray car that came back, it's a whole fucking spectacle. It's a whole damn thing. I'm like, they literally just set up this street theater for this for the stupidest shit. This goddamn pack. And by this time, I found my package on the wrong side of my damn house. It was in the wrong area and on the wrong porch because it still was on my other neighbor's side door porch or whatever. So it still didn't get delivered where it was supposed to get delivered to. Or whatever, y'all. So by this time, I'm hearing all the hooping, the hollering, the cussing, the fighting, her threatening this dude, her hitting this dude, her hollering about getting her pissed and all this other kind of shit. I'm like, I wish a bitch would. I be waiting for some shit to pop off, bro. I be so calm. I be waiting for some shit to pop off. But it, it just goes to show just how people are really ignorant. People are really ratchet. And I'm just telling this girl, I'm like... I'm like, first of all, you don't even need to be mad at dude because I don't even know dude. I never even talked to dude. To be honest with you, this is my first time ever even really seeing dude, okay? Um, so, I don't know you, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and secondly, I was looking for my package that got delivered to the wrong damn address. Ah, okay then, because uh, I just don't like that. Well, bitch, considering the fact that this is not your house anyway and you just visiting... Seeing here temporarily. You know what I'm saying? Pump your brakes. How about you call your dad and ask him who the fuck I am? Which I ain't never fucked with a daddy like that either. But you know what I'm saying? He still, a, you know, was a decent neighbor. You know, would speak to you. when You know the type of neighbor that speak, hey, how you doing? I right, have a good day. You know what I'm saying? The man go to work every damn day. He might hit business. I mind my bed. I ain't never been a prop with none of my damn neighbors. I don't bother nobody anyway. I be in the house. You understand what I'm saying? Now these little young, he moved out and moved to... Like, got him another house, and I think maybe they fell down on hard times or bad luck or something like that when the when the little uh, pandemic or whatever was going on. Or I don't really know the situation like that. I just know they moved in all of a sudden. Some young people and, and the kids or whatever, and I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? New gang stalkers in the area, whatever, but still. I ain't never spake to them. They ain't never spake to me. It ain't never been a problem. But y'all, this shit was a whole theatrical ass event. And I'm like, this shit is crazy. You understand what I'm saying? And she caught herself up because I'm like, if you able to come over here and talk to me about this now, then clearly you know that this was me. This wasn't a complete stranger. That this is your neighbor. And clearly, since I ain't never been over here before, I'm just looking for something. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, y'all, all I'm saying is be careful, okay, because these gang stalkers is everywhere, and you just can't trust people. You understand what I'm saying? And you can't never have your guard down or anything. That's why I always tell y'all, 
keep you some protection on you, honey, and stay ready so you don't have to get ready, okay? Because you got ignorant folks out here who will try you for absolutely no reason at all just because they know you a target, okay? I don't know what little incentives they get for fucking with people the way they do, okay? But it's just pure ignorance, okay? They do this to people who are chosen, who are enlightened in some type of way, okay? Angelic beings, earth angels, those of us who are awakened, okay? It's like they purposely want to try us and, you know, dislike us. I feel like just people automatically, anytime you ain't never done nobody nothing, okay? They literally have no reason to dislike you, but it's like they just got this hatred for you for no damn reason at all, and you ain't never done nothing wrong to them. These are all demonically as possessed, mentally as ill individuals in the first damn place. You understand what I'm saying? Something wrong with them. Period. And these jokers around here, they doing anything for money, okay? They doing any damn thing that they triggered to do. Some of them getting paid, some of them just under mind control and getting the fuck triggered, okay, to do little whole shit. And it's a distraction to get a reaction is what it is. Y'all need to have, y'all need to understand that this is a psychological operation that is being run, ruled, and controlled by our United States government, okay? These very leaders in power who abuse their authority, who abuse their power, running their social engineering experimentations, their human experimentations to fuck with people, okay? It's distractions to get a reaction. How how are you going to react? How are you going to respond, okay? And they trigger some people they paying to do shit that's a part of these satanic cults and witch covens and secret societies and shit and gang stalking groups and shit. Other ones, they under full-blown fucking mind control and they they are triggerable and they literally can be triggered to do anything and it's the most ridiculous shit you have ever seen in your life okay because anytime you see the shit and if at all possible you can just uh stray away from not really seeing anything or much at all they tell on their damn self and they look the stupidest and the ignorance the, the most ignorant in doing the shit and then they walk off with this old dumbfounded ass look on their face like yeah bitch you're dumb for doing all of this for no damn reason at all okay but like that shit was like totally pathetic guys that was like on some whole other shit it came all out the blue she like i felt for this dude i kid you not i had never seen him a day before and and, and um her 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 guy or really her like that or whatever but i felt bad for dude because like she like literally jumped on this dude you understand what i'm saying like hey y'all women y'all got to stop doing this because y'all be quick to want some sympathy and some empathy and call the police if a man put his hands on you. But it's full grown ass women out here who jump on other men. And these men, you know, probably that you didn't have been raised by a halfway decent woman and don't put their hands on women and you punk them. You know what I'm saying? And, and try to bully them by uh, pushing on them hitting on them just knowing that they not going to hit you back you'll try to pull your weapons on them and i don't i don't know what this make you feel like you're bigger and you're better or, or some type of shit or whatever like you got a lot of women out here who swear they want a good man but if when you get a man you don't allow the man to be a fucking man okay because I, you know you know you want to 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 fucking bully him you want to be more manly than him type of shit now if that boy had a fucking popped off and knocked her and i'm fucking mouth and across the damn room you know it would it would be a whole other situation oh you beat me you understand what i'm saying and i'm not downplaying women to get beat because this shit happens every the fuck day you understand what i'm saying um all the damn time okay and a lot of time when it comes to domestic violence it is men who are um, beating on women, and I don't like them either because they 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 mistreat women and children in ways that they wouldn't buck up and 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 fight like that with another fucking man. So they 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 sorry to me anyway. But it's a whole lot of dominant women out here who are bullies, okay? Who very aggressive and controlling and be quick to pop off in certain type of ways and like this was a whole situation like she literally went off on this dude like because from my understanding of the shit is it made it seem like like you know what i'm saying it was just really i could tell she was just really coming from this jealous 
insecure ass place and it was just triggered like all of a fucking sudden. And I'm like, I don't even know this person. I ain't never seen them a day before in my life. Like, I don't even pay attention to these people. Like, I know they over there, but I don't fuck with them. And you don't fuck with me. You understand? Type of thing. But anyway, I'm just telling y'all. Y'all need to watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch who you deal with. Because Spirit is saying that you can't trust anybody. You got people spying on you. You got pure evil ass people around you. You got disloyal, betraying ass family. Okay? Um, especially your mother. Okay? who no good in the hood and working the hell against you, okay? A secret spy watching you as well, trying to come towards you with some bogus-ass contract for you to smooth, come up the fuck missing and never be seen or heard from ever the hell again or to get stuck in some bogus-ass damn deal where you'll be pimped out, sold, passed around and some more shit, okay? And, and working for the rest of your life just to work off that damn contract to pay them the fuck back and different type of shit. Like, it's, it's the most, it's, okay? But to clarify, uh, family disloyalty and betrayal, we have mature woman and concern here, okay? So this, I feel like this is this bad mother of yours. Now she's sitting up worried, she's scared, she in concern, okay? She didn't try to her best to, to bully you, to manipulate you, to control you, to try to force you into submission here, okay? But she's in concern, okay? Because she knows that you know that she's involved in this criminal activity. She knows that you know that she's involved in this fraud and this insurance scam and that she's trying to sacrifice you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. So now she feeling some type of way. Now she in, in concern, okay? When she ain't never been in concern for you, obviously, a day in your damn life here, okay? Something has something to do with the house, okay? Your mother... Um, there was a house that was supposed to come to you or was rewarded to you or supposed to be given to you or inherited to you or whatever about this house that was left to you after a, some type of death that occurred, okay, was taken from you, okay? And your mother or this mature woman, this could be a, this is a woman nonetheless, okay? So this is going to be your mother or your grandmother stole this from you. There could have been money and uh, a home involved in this situation here. But it seems like somebody is just being attacked by all angles, okay? Because whomever you are, like your family is working against you for one reason. Because they're jealous of you, they're envious of you, and they hate you, okay? They also want to sacrifice you and get rid of you to cover up the criminal activity that they have been involved in. Okay, you got wealthy people, industry people watching you because you got some type of talent, skill, or ability, and they think they can get over on you. They're looking for ways to get over on you, and they want to send somebody to you um, with some bogus ass contract, some some fake, phony, fraudulent ass deal or gig or something. Just to screw you over or convince you into selling out. You got the government, those official persons in power whom are watching you, who are spying on you illegally, unjustly, okay? For other reasons, because whomever you are, I feel like you are awake, okay? I feel like you are awakened and you know truth and clarity about certain things. So they're watching. You got people who are, a lot of people who are watching you, but they're all watching you for different reasons, okay? But I feel like all of these persons know that you're a targeted individual in some way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? You even got people who are watching you and it's being uploaded to like the dark web or something. But there's money that's generating from watching you or something, okay? And, um... Yeah, and the government knows this. Wealthy persons in power knows this, okay? All these false-ass persons around you who are wearing masks know this, and they're all in on um, on the setup against you, okay? There's some type of unexpected income, some type of gift, 
that's supposed to come to you, which is another reason why people are watching you. You probably got people pocket watching you, trying to see how you live in, what you got, if you have gotten something yet, okay? Whomever you are, you are in poverty, okay? But there is something that's going on in, in the courthouse or in a court of law or something that has something to do with some type of unexpected income and gift that is supposed to come to you. And you got people who are just like stalking you harassing you watching you okay and doing the most this okay so spirit let's um let's get some further clarification yeah fortune at the bottom of the deck this is all about money these people are all about money okay how, whatever amount of money this is, this obviously seems like a substantial amount of money for the government and wealthy men and women in power to be watching you. It's like they it's like they desperately wanted to try to force you into selling out before you got this money or some type of shit like that. But the satanic powers be is like that. OK. Anybody that's got any substantial amount of money, it's like they want them sold out to them, bow down and worshiping them, kissing their fucking ass just to have any damn thing. You got fake, phony, fraudulent ass family who, who disloyal to you, who have betrayed you, they're jealous and envious of you because they don't want you to have these fortunes here, okay? And then you got slick, sly ass people who, and, 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 and no matter what this fortune is that's coming to you, okay? This fortune could have something to do with your occupation or whatever you do for work as well, okay? And you got persons who's watching you because of that, okay? You got people who looking at you like, you know, they want to own you or, 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 or you know, be your handler, your representative, be in control of you type of thing to try to control your wealth or control your career or, you know, type of shit. It's, it's, it's really crazy. It's really crazy. What's happening here? Yeah. Whomever you are, you are a scholar, okay? I feel like you're a specialist in a particular field of study. You're a specialist at something you do, okay? And this is the reason why people are watching you. People could be copying you, okay? People could be trying to sell your work or some type of shit, okay? Whomever you are, we know that you are a woman, a younger woman here. So I feel like you are under the age of 40, Okay, I feel like really and truly, I feel like you could be in your 30s or younger, okay? But you're a young woman, okay? And uh, this came out on people spying on you, okay? You got official persons, which are government officials. And then you have wealthy men here, which is wealthy men and women here. So this could be people in the entertainment industry. This could be just, uh, this could be wealthy men and women who are in business, you know, there's wealthy people who are in all different types of uh, uh, occupations and fields and works and different things like that, okay? But you also got the government who's watching you, okay? Which is eerie, all, all on its own, okay? But yeah, this is what's going on, okay? Your pure evil as family, I told you they're gathering up together. They're having gatherings and groups and meetings and shit. Um, and wherever this family room is or wherever they meet up at, this is, could be at a particular person's house. Hell, this could be in a hotel room. This could be in some secret hideout. But they're meeting up together and they're having conversations and they're talking about you. These folks are evil. They're wicked, okay? No if ands, buts about it. Yeah, whoever this secret spy is who's a false person, this person is traveling towards you. This person is coming to see you, okay? And if you decide to speak to this person, Spirit is telling you to pay attention to their subliminal witch language, okay? Um, there's going to be something in there, some type of subliminal message, a slick shot, a wise crack, a threat, a, a, um, a, a warning, like something, okay? Yeah. Yeah. This person, somebody, somebody wants to come through like they love you, like they care about you. Like somebody's going to be like, oh, I can't stop thinking about you. I'm like so in love with you. But somebody, you can't trust this person, spirit is saying, because this, peer, this person wants to use you as a servant, as a slave. You will be performing duties for money. This person wants you to be a sex slave. That's why they're coming, they want to travel to you. And they're coming in with some type of sign on bonus, with some type of contract. They want you to sell out. They want you to sign to some type of label or some type of record deal, like whatever it is that you do like seriously okay 
Yeah, this person may even tell you that they want to marry you, that they want to be your lover. Like this is this is crazy. This is crazy. Seriously. This is crazy. And your disloyal fake ass family, they they waiting. They sitting back waiting for this to go on waiting to see what's going to happen waiting to see if you're gonna hook up with this catfish ass person that they want to send to you bitch like look i'm so sick of cat uh catfish bitch i don't even eat catfish no more okay like back in the day you know what i'm saying you were up effing a mare in the hood it was nothing to go fishing okay and you know have you some catfish i don't even you know bitch give me some tilapia some salmon or something okay like like that because people around here catfishing every day i don't have time for that to the point where I don't even eat catfish no more. You understand? Like, seriously. Um, this person, whoever this person is, somebody's going to come through like they just love you, okay? So much so they want to marry you, okay? This person wants you as a freaking sex slave, though. You cannot trust this person. Like, this person is going to come in and be like, I think about you all the time. I watch you all the time. I just really care about you. I love you. I really like you. Honey, whatever they game is, okay? Whatever they going to try to convince you of, it's bullshit. This person is a false person. They're wearing a mask, okay? Yeah, they thinking about you. They thinking about you a lot, okay? And they see what you do for work, okay? Whether you, whatever you do, whether you do it for a hobby, for a career, for a trade, or just some type of skill that you have, this person see you as being profitable, okay? And know how to um, promote you in some type of a way. Know how to make money off of you or how you can make money, okay? But I guarantee you, no matter how much money you would be making for this person, you wouldn't see the half of it okay they want to come in with some type of bogus ass contract where you will be literally the rest of your life indebted to them okay which means your ass will be a sex slave you would make more money from prostitution than you would from whatever bogus ass work that they are claiming that or or deal that they have for you okay fuck that okay game recognize game don't do don't do period point blank your family is sitting back and wait waiting for something to happen okay i feel like they send back waiting for anything waiting for you to die waiting for you to get locked up waiting for you to go missing waiting for you for this catfish person to come in and you to sell your soul and take some bogus deal and you know what i'm saying so they can fall into place the way they want to and get their money and get they cut they literally sitting in wait hanging around waiting on something to happen okay because of this money here this fortune here okay so we got fortune here we got unexpected income and gift that was at the other deck here okay so all these persons are watching you okay because obviously there's some type of money yeah this will of fortune here this will there was a will that was left for you that was a will that was left for you. And because of that, you got a lot of competition out here. A lot of people competing with you, jealous of you, envious of you, hating on you. Okay? This is why people are watching you. This is the reason why people are sneaking and creeping around, doing shit behind the scenes, doing shit behind closed doors, doing shit in darkness, okay? Meeting up, having secret meetings, okay? And they secret little hideouts, okay? Um to talk about you, a uh, 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 plot plan scheme against you, or what have you, okay? Yeah, whomever you are, whoever this little secret spy is, okay? This person could be a star. This person could be a superstar. This person could be a celebrity of some kind. Or somebody wealthy, somebody in power, somebody in leadership, okay? Or you are a star, and this is the reason why this person is watching you like this, okay? Because they want to, and this is the reason why they're coming in with some type of contract. They want to come in and offer you some type of deal, but I swear it's like, it's, it's some type of, it's a small offer. It's a small offer, okay? But this person also want to come off like they want to be your lover, okay? Yeah. Your family, your disloyal ass family, they waiting on this money here. They waiting with the ten of coins here. I see the ten of coins and the queen of cups here. They sitting and waiting on this money here. 
because they did something to steal your identity to do some type of some type of fraud insurance scam or some shit and this is the reason why they, they've been involved in a lot of criminal activity and this is the reason why They've been trying to sacrifice you. They've been trying to knock you off for the longest here. There's some a substantial amount of money that's supposed to be coming to you. Okay? Whoever you are, you might be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio who's going through this. Okay? You got some type of talent, skills, or abilities. It's got people jealous of you, envious of you, hating on you, in competition with you, uh, working against you, trying to set you up. Let's get some further clarifications, okay? So you've been real patient with this situation. We have patience and planning here, okay? You have been patient in this situation. You know people watching. You know people invading and violating your privacy, okay? Um, and you've just dealt with it and moved forward. Spirit, clarify people spying on you. Clarify uh, people spying on you, okay? So we got waiting game here. These official persons in power, these wealthy men and win, uh, women, they've literally, you know, been sitting back waiting on something to occur, waiting on something to happen before they made some type of move or did something or something. It's like they, they want to, you know, I don't know if they're waiting for you to get this, uh, uh, for some large sum, sum of money to come to you and they try to set you up in some type of way. To kill you or some type of shit like that or um it, it, they're waiting around on something they're waiting around on something but they know good so we're clarify pure evil clarify pure evil you need to uh we have disruptions here so these individuals in your family, other pure as in, uh, evil individuals working against you has caused nothing but distractions in your life, okay? And disruptions as well, okay? These persons are literally satanic sellouts. They could be devil worshipers, okay? A part of secret society, satanic cults, whether on a lower level or a higher up level, okay? But they're not right. And they don't have your best interest at heart. And they've done nothing but cause disruptions in your life on purpose, okay? Because of the shit that they're doing in secret behind closed doors, working against you. Whoever this secret spy is, is somebody that's in power and somebody that's in authority that's been watching you, okay? This person knows you're a star. There's some type of hope, wish, or dream that's coming true for you, okay? I feel like you're an earth angel. You're an angelic being. You're one with the divine. Okay? Somebody is traveling. Somebody in power is traveling towards you. But this person is a, is a false person and they're wearing a mask. And you need to pay attention to the subliminal witch language that comes out of their mouth. Okay? Yeah. Because to clarify, you can't trust anybody. We got deception and envy here. Okay? This person is trying to deceive you. This person is envious of you, okay? They want to play pretend like they got some type of lucrative position or deal for you while also playing pretend like they want to be your lover and they're attracted to you, okay? But it's all a setup. It's all a setup. So we're going to clarify uh, family disloyalty and betrayal. Family disloyalty and betrayal. You have to emotionally withdraw from this family here. Because you know they betrayed you. You know they sabotaged you. You know they ruined you. Okay? Your third eye is open. Okay? You are the light. Okay? There's harmony within you. You've gone through a major transformation. Okay? Spirit wants you to choose wisely. Continue to, to make your choices wisely, okay? Because you're going to have triumphant success here, okay? Okay? 
I feel like you you at some point you will have some type of harmonious uh, connection with someone because spirit is saying love begins here. Okay. And on transformation here, we even have memories of love here. Okay. But we got temptation here. Okay. Don't be tempted. Somebody wants to come in and try to tempt you, okay? This could be to tempt you to party, to kick it, to get drunk, to get high, to get loose, okay? To be promiscuous, whatever this temptation is, okay? Sex, drugs, rock and roll, honey. Um, whatever it is, okay? Don't participate. But your third eye chakra is open, okay? And these individuals know it, okay? But this is interesting, okay, because you got family who you have emotionally withdrawn from, who are emotionally withdrawn from you. They just want to betray you, and they want money. That's all they care about. You got official persons in power that's in government or in authority in some type of way, as well as wealthy men and women in power who are sitting around playing some type of waiting game, waiting on something to happen, okay? You got this person, you know, Mr. Mr. Romeo Casanova, Rico Suave ass type of mind that wants to come in and act like they just love you so much. They're just so attracted to you. They like you so much. They want to help your career. They can help you advance and blow up and offer you so much money and offer you some type of contract and some type of deal. But it's nothing but deception and envy there. This person, this person is in, in is somebody in power. This person has also is a also is a secret spy. So they have been involved with um, spying on you, watching you illegally, and uploading it to the web and making money off you already. Okay, you see how this man face? He could be an older man. You see this man face or a mature man? Actually, it shows half man have lion here this person could be a fire sign leo okay he's not a leo he's definitely a fire sign this person would send you not have you overworked stressed out imbalanced this person would send you so many hardships problematic situations will place all kinds of things on your back try to put more on you than you can bear okay it's not what you want here. And whoever he is, he's a warlock. He's a magician. He's a warlock. This motherfucker will put a spell on you, okay? He will have your ass under full-blown as uh, MK Ultra mind control, okay? You be walking around with butterflies over one eye, throwing up the three sixes on one hand and the devil horns on another with your tongue sticking out your mouth and blonde hair in your head, okay? While you dress in black and white checkerboard subliminals okay here how your mind gone okay you'll be under monarch programming beta sex kit and programming and some more shit oh yeah he got a whole lot of ways to make money off of you mm -hmm. yeah because he 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 gonna come in and destroy you he gonna come in and he wants to destroy you okay this must be one of their best handlers here Oh, uh, he top-notch flight security handler here. Yeah, he probably CIA trained here. He is. He 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 want to come in and destroy you here. This transformation card here, honey, can be baby. There will be a death in the rebirth, honey. The oh, you will be dead and gone the moment that you leave with him. Okay, you will be replaced and clumped. Period. It's in you. It's not on you. They don't want you like that. They want what's in you. They want your mind, your body, and your soul, not you. They don't care about your flesh. You understand? He won't come in like he wants some type of partnership, okay? He wants some type of relationship, a commitment, okay? He wants you to make some type of hasty decision, honey. He's going to take you to the crossroads, for you to make that decision. Okay? This this ain't what you want. I'm just letting you know. I can't do nothing to tell you the truth. That tower car here, baby, he he make your life so damn traumatic. You I wish you was dead. Spirit clarified don't really care anymore. Yeah. We have the ace of water here. 
okay? This talks about emotions, relationships, intuition. You're listening to your intuition. You don't care anymore that you don't have family, that you don't have friends, that you don't have a lover. All the burdens and the hardships and the problematic situations, all the obstacles you've had to overcome, the fact that you don't have any love, the fact that there's a lot of pressure on you, the fact that you have had to juggle, the fact that you have had to struggle. You're still living. You're still surviving. You're still striving uh, to be the greatest version of yourself and you're still moving forward, okay? The Ace of Water talks about extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions, and you just don't care anymore, okay? At this point, your cutoff game is strong. Why? Because these people neglected you. They betrayed you. They left you out in the cold, okay? You was in lack, or you've been in lack. You've been in worry, okay? And you had no help. You had no assistance. You had no one. Not family, friends, lovers, nobody. They all isolated you. Okay? Yeah. To clarify, people spying on you here with official persons and wealthy men. There's wealthy, prominent people in power and government officials in power, okay? Who want to cause you burdens and hardships and problematic situations, okay? You could be defensive towards these people. You could feel like you need to protect yourself from these people. Why? Because you know that they're trying to sacrifice you. You know that they want to sacrifice you. You know this. The Nine of Fire uh, uh, talks about protection, talks about preparedness, talks about resilience as well. You are a hermit. You to yourself, you by yourself, okay? The hermit speaks to uh, introspection, self-discovery, as well as mentorship, okay? So whatever it is that you do, you see this light, this halo around this hermit's head and this light that's here? And his hand at his hand here, whatever you do, even though you in hermit mode, even though you by yourself and you ain't got nothing and nobody, you do things to help and to heal others, to uplift others, to guide others, to teach others, to awaken others. Okay. And this is the reason why these wealthy men and women in power, these satanic powers that be, the shadow government, the official persons in power, the government and shit, they don't like that shit. But you in hermit mode. How do you attack somebody who's a hermit? This is somebody who is isolated, who's by themselves, who's technically not doing anything wrong. A hermit don't commit no crimes. They don't bother anybody. They go within. They think. They study. They research. They pray. They meditate. They help and they heal. They do anything. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 people want to sacrifice you. Can you imagine that? People want to sacrifice a hermit. Spirit, clarify pure evil. Clarify pure evil. Clarify pure evil. There's a group of individuals who have come together. Okay. Here on this pure evil with the Ten of Cups here with con uh, 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 conversation, family room. Okay. As well as disruption and the moon. A group of individuals who have come together to work against you. They, have, they are in a collaboration with one another for the purposes of money. Yeah. Three of coins with the, with the three of cups here. This group of individuals have literally come together um, uh, in collaboration with each other solely for the purposes to, to work against you. To hurt you, to harm you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay? And they don't care. All they care about is money. All they care about is money. I told you, whoever this uh, this this secret spy here is that's watching you, he's a fire sign. Set shares Aries to Leah. He's going to come in all con uh, confident, um, like he's passionate, okay? And adventurous, and you know what I'm saying? And all of that. But trust me when I tell you. He does not have your best interests at heart. At all. He's one. He's, he's, some, he's a messenger. He wants to come through. And, and, and give you some type of messenger. He's going to come through very motivated. Very passionate. Very enthusiastic. Okay. Very creatively. But he's a false person. And he's wearing a mask. Spirit clarify. Uh, can't trust anybody. Yeah. Can't trust anybody. That's the same person. He came out back to back. That's the same person. Man, look. <laughs> Whoever this bad mother of y'all, baby, you got some fire working against you. 
Whoever this man they is that they, they want to censure you, that's been secretly spying on you, that's this false person. That you, and, and, and that you can't try is a fire sign. But whoever mama this is, this bad mother here, is a fire sign as well. Set chairs Aries to Leo. But whoever this man is, I believe he's a Leo. He's either Leo or Aries. This is Christ. This is crazy. Mm -mm. Spirit, what's the overall energy? What's the overall energy? Th you know what's so crazy about this? These people have literally sat back. Now, whoever you are, you are a full grown as adult. I really feel like you are someone who has been a target your entire life. Everybody you have ever known has lied to you and been gaslighting you your entire life. These motherfuckers are so cold with it. They think that they can decide who the hell you suck and fuck. Who the hell you marry. You got people sitting back behind the scenes trying to arrange a relationship and marriage for you. That they know you're going to be abused in and unhappy in. But that they are going to get paid from. These motherfuckers are crazy. These bastards is crazy. Whomever you are, you are coming into a lot of money and success, triumph, and victory, okay? Rec public recognition, okay, as well. Because whomever you are, you're a wise counselor, okay? And you're a counselor, you counsel others, okay? Your third eye chakra is wide the hell open and they all know it. This is crazy. These motherfuckers like literally think. That they can control your damn life. They decide who the hell you want to be with. Like, you know what I'm saying? Type of shit. And purposely send somebody into your life like they just randomly met you by a pure chance when they've been watching you all the fucking long. It's a whole damn setup. They a whole damn op. And they gonna come in and play pretend like they don't even know you. You know how a person do when you first meet somebody, but this person gonna know everything about you and your family. This shouldn't have been arranged, bruh. This motherfucker is literally being paid to come into you to act like they like you. To act like they want to work with you. All kinds of shit. And this person may come from a half money. This person because you don't know, smell good, look good, dress good, speak good. I ain't saying he got to be a look like a bomb. Or nothing. But he ain't right. He's a false person nonetheless. It's weird to see it. He's a false person. He's wearing a mask. He is not to be trusted. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys. Um. Let me see. Let me let me pull my other cards on this guy here because he is bothering me. Spirit, pull. Uh, let me give me a message for um, the secret spy. <laughs> what I tell you, this fell out on top of my head like y'all. It literally, it. I'm about to lose all the cards. It literally popped out like this on top of my hand. I kid you not. While I was shuffling. He or she only wants to be with you to make you a blood sacrifice for fame and fortune. What I tell you? I can't fucking make it up. I cannot make it up. I'm not going to lie to you, bruh. If I see some old lovey dovey shit here, I'm going to tell you that. And I'm be like, I'm happy for you. I'm proud of you. I ain't never been a hater. You hear me? I love love. Even whether I got the shit or not. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not that type of person. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't success, if you didn't, you know, reach success and you done made it and you have your business and your family and a good relationship and beautiful family and children and nice home. I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? I would never hate on you. You understand what I'm saying? If I see love, I'm going to tell you love. If I see promotion and great things, I'm going to tell you that. But if I see other shit too, I'm going to be all the way real with you. I am not going to lie to you. I am not going to tell you no shit. That you want to hear just because that's just the shit that you want to hear. <laughs> Spirit saying, you, we got adventures of date, uh, uh, of freshly dating someone new, okay? But this sits on top of you can't trust anybody. 
This fool wants to blood sacrifice you for fame and fortune of their own. Y'all. He gonna come through with so much passion, bro. He gonna come through with so much passion. He gonna tell you you make him happy. He gonna make it seem like this a random, unexpected partner by pure chance. Like, he don't know you. He done studied everything about you, bro. He been watching you in secret for the longest, bro. Mm -mm. This is crazy. This is what this fire sign band is on. Okay? He gonna come through. Like he like you, he wants to date you, he gonna be so passionate for you. Okay, y'all, I, I swear to God. He done been trained well. Do you feel me? He done been trained well. Look, spirits say that this person is not even that into you. This means that this person is unattracted to you. They don't care about you. Spirit is telling you do not bother even being with this person. Not working with this person and not being in a relationship with this person. Keep your heart off your sleeve, honey. Don't waste your time, Spirit is saying. He is not even that into you. And the only reason why he's coming towards you is because he has been paid by the establishment, by wealthy persons in power to come play this role. They want to send him in like a hands alert, y'all. Y'all don't understand how deep this goes. There are people who are paid to come into people's life and they don't care what they got to do, date you. Get married to you, have sex with you. They'll play whole house with you, bruh. And be ops the whole entire time. Then all of a sudden, you fall ill, you bedridden. Now all your money and your kids, this motherfucker in control of. This motherfucker more attracted to your daughters than he is to fuck to you. Now he got access to all your money. You in the bed, bedridden or sick or, or something that tragically happened and you dying or some type of shit. I, I'm, I'm overly exaggerating here, but I'm just saying. Okay, maybe I don't watch, uh, you know, too much Lifetime Movie Network, okay? Maybe, you know, I don't watch a lot of movies. I'm, I'm a loner. You understand? This shit happens, for real, in real life. You can play with it if you want to. <laughs> like, seriously, bro. Seriously. This person has also, behind the scenes, why they have been, this person's got a sexual demon on them, too. Okay? Um, while this person has been behind the scenes watching you, this person has done, hold on, guys. This person has sat back and done some type of love spells to block your love life, to prevent you from being with anybody else, okay? And you in this energy, like, where you want true love or nothing at all, okay? But somebody has literally paid this person to come into your life. Spirit is saying that this would be a bad romance. Spirit is saying that there would be no love. You will still be lonely. Have hurt feelings, heartbreak, and this person will cheat on you. This person cannot be trusted. Just period. Cannot be trusted. This is sad, y'all. This is really sad. Spirit, give us. Um, Give us one more card on this. Uh, give us another card for the secret spy. The secret spy. Yeah, this person, this person would be juggling you. Okay? This person wants to come in and juggle you with all the other lovers that they have. Look at this. Ace of coins at the bottom of the deck. This person has been paid to come into your life like some type of handler or sign. Spirit clarify, can't trust nobody. Can't trust anybody. Whoever this person is has some type of, this is a justice card here. So this person has like some type of high ranking position, like in power or authority or something, like in government or something. 
Because he's keeping here at the bottom of the deck. The Sagittarius Aries and Leo person. Yeah. That you would need strength, faith, courage, okay? Everything that you can muster up, honey, to stand your ground to even deal with this person, be with this person, okay? Mm -mm. This person here is interesting to me. This is just, this is crazy. So we're clarify secret spy. Secret spy. Clarify secret spy spirit. This person is going to come in and flirt with you. This person also may be separated from someone else. Like, they could be married, but, like, separated. Yeah, but this person is full of deception. We got deception here, okay? Spirit says someone is wearing a false self mask. And this person, did false person not come out on this person? Did I not tell you they were in a damn mask? They were not who they appear to be? Spirit, clarify you can't trust anybody. You can't trust anybody. Spirit say... Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay? We also got co uh, codependency, separation, unrequited love. Okay? This is crazy. Addictions are affecting your love life here. This person could have some type of addictions. Separation, like I said. Um, this person could be legally married to someone but separated from someone. At the time, we also have unrequited love, okay? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, okay? Like, y'all, this is crazy. This is crazy. They tried it. They tried it. But luckily, you found me and I told you the truth, honey. But they tried it. Okay. Let me get one more message here on this trifling ass um, mother of yours. No good family of yours. Spirit, clarify. Give us uh, one more clarifier for this um, for this family disloyalty and betrayal here. This bad mother. Family disloyalty and betrayal. That person may be in the military. Okay, but this person is sold out to the satanic problem, Seppi. Okay, so we got, uh, and he's obviously pretty high ranking because I see satanic powers that be in shadow government here. Okay, we have here somebody turned their back on you and betrayal here. Your mother, your bad, your family all together turned their back on you. Okay, and they all betrayed you, especially your mother. Okay. They were disloyal to you. They manipulated us, liars. They got bad juju on them. They deceive us, two-faced, backstabber, gossipers, okay? And they did it all for the purposes of money, okay? And we got everybody not happy for you at the bottom of the deck. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, guys? So I do hope that this information has given you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you are dealing with. Y'all definitely watch your surroundings. You're coming into some type of success, triumph, and victory nonetheless here, okay? Whomever you are, whatever you do, you are a wise counselor. There is some swift, fast uh, communication that is coming to you, okay? Something that you have been working very hard, um, that you have been investing in, that you've been working very hard on, okay? Your harvest is coming in for you, okay? Um, this could have something to do with some type of uh, the job that you do, the work that you do, okay? You could be coming into more money, okay? Because it's, it's like you're going to be going from the seven of coins to the eight of coins here, Okay, but you need to be very careful in this energy, guys. Okay, because there's somebody who wants to cause you sadness, disappointment, regret here. Okay, there's someone who wants to cause you heartache and pain here. There's someone who wants to bring you, your life, your world, everything to an end. Okay, and I feel like this is surrounded around a specific job that you take. Somebody wants to come in and offer you a specific job here. And it's going to leave you disappointed. You're going to be heartache. You're going to be in heartache and heartbreak. There's going to be sadness and loss, misery and pain, anguish. And it's going, it's, it's going to like bring something to an end. Okay. 
and I don't want that for you, okay? But something is going to give you, like there is going to be growth and movement forward in your life. Nonetheless, you're going to have some type of hopes, wishes, or dreams coming true for you, okay? But, you know, every, every good thing that I see for you, there's a set of bad news. Like some type of success, triumph, and victory is coming in for you. More money is coming in for you, but you got these individuals here. Who want to cause you some type of sadness, loss, heartache, heartbreak, and to br to bring something to an end for you, okay? But this is going to, there's still going to be growth and movement forward. It's like this is going to give you motivation and determination, okay? As far as some type of opportunity, creativity, or action being taken forward, and it's going to make some type of hope, wish, or dream come true, okay? But then you got people working in secret, working behind the closed doors, okay? To ultimately betray you, okay? So it's like for every set of good news that you get is people in the background that is planning, planning, and scheming something awful to happen in your life, towers to collapse in your life, okay? But Spirit wants you to know that you have choices, okay? You're going to have multiple choices to choose from here, okay? Um, with the sun being here, this talks about success, recognition, enthusiasm, happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fresh starts, okay? Um... As well as we have awakening here. Whomever you are, you are a messenger. Okay. Um, this is what you do. This is your life purpose. Okay. You 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 and you're supposed to be in this life purpose, and you're supposed to use this to help and to heal others, to awaken others. Okay. Um, it just so happened that other people hate you for it. Okay. And you are you you know you one of many in the world who don't have any support. And when, when I say no support, I mean no support. You know, some people are able to maintain and function because, you know, usually people who don't have family, it makes up, they make up for, for having friends, okay? And people who don't have friends, they make up for, for having a great lover in their life. Whoever I'm talking to, you have no family, you have no friends, you have no lover, you have nothing. You have nobody. And it's like everybody in between that even complete strangers, people that don't know you from Adam is like out to hurt you and hate you and don't even know you. Okay. So it's crazy. It's like nobody wants you to succeed. And, and that's just awful. Like, how could you not want to somebody to succeed? How could how could one be that hateful? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person, if I see a beautiful woman and she's got on a nice dress or some nice shoes or her nails are nice, her hair is nice, her makeup looks nice, I'm like, oh, you're pretty. Oh, I like, you know, such and such that you got on. That's, that's the type of person that I am. You understand what I'm saying? It just melts my heart when I see a good man that's a good father and take care of his kids. I think that's like the sweetest shit in the world. That is like the most romantic shit a man could do like ever to be a good freaking father. You understand what I'm saying? It'd be simple shit for me. You know what I'm saying? When I see other people who are like talented and smart, like a lot of smart people get made fun of. Oh, you nerds, you geek. I think it's really cool for you to be really that smart. You know what I'm saying? Or if somebody is talented or skilled, and I'm like, you know, I think that is totally awesome. Like, I'm rooting for you. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and then, like, like beings, you you think like, and a lot of people think like this. You know, usually, um, those of us within certain zodiac signs and different things or whatever, you kind of automatically want to support other people within your zodiac signs and other zodiac signs you're drawn to and different things like that but it's like it don't work like that because the love and the appreciation is like not reciprocated at all and it's like you end up looking like damn i'm supporting people other people showing other people love and this that and the other and it's like folks just hate you for no reason at all they could even give you a logical reason as to why they dislike you if they were asked bluntly they couldn't they're just in competition with you. They're just jealous of you. They just don't want you to have any damn thing. Of course, they want everything for themselves, but they don't want you in particular to have anything. Like, what type of selfish shit is that? Like, I would never hate on someone who has a beautiful home and a nice car and a good job and, you know, benefits and things like that. That's awesome. You made it. That's about the most you can expect of the American dream. Okay? Okay. Like, on a realistic level. That's like the most you can expect. 
So I'm happy for people who have genuinely accomplished that without the fuckery, without stepping on other people's toes, without hurting and harming and sacrificing other people to get what you want for yourself or to come up in some type of way and didn't have to screw your way to the top either. I think that is a wonderful thing. Just from hard work and dedication, you have all this and accomplished all this. I think this is great. So I'm the type of person to appreciate other people. But, you know, you look around and more often than not from your family to your fake friends to your to your jealous lovers to complete strangers as haters. People all around you don't have that same like the reciprocation of the same enthusiasm or support or you've got nothing but a bunch of people who tear down one another, sabotage and ruin one another, you know. You got women tearing down other women, men competing with other men. Like, you know, it's just ridiculous. But this is the world that we live in. And then you wonder why the new generations grow up the way they do. The children grow up the way they do. We're literally living in a generation where your government are fucking bullies. Okay? Wealthy people in power are fucking bullies. Okay? You even have people who are in the industry, the most beautiful and handsome people that you see all over your TV screens and they want you to support them and listen to their music and all this other kind of shit, but they bully every fucking body else and they stand before your children running anti-bullying fucking campaigns trying to tell somebody don't fucking bully and who they should support and who they shouldn't support and who, who they should be backing and different things like that. How are you a fucking grown ass adult and you're a fucking bully? But you want to try to teach children not to fucking bully. Like, what type of sense does that make? That doesn't make any sense. And we don't even live. We live in a bullying ass world. If you think about it, your entire life has had nothing but bullies in it. Starting from right at home. Everybody, any, any situation where you were and somebody was older than you, you were bullied. Whether it was at home, whether it was at church, whether it was at school, whether it was in the workforce, whether it's in a relationship, you have been bullied your entire life. And nobody looks at this shit. But these are the same people who, if they are accomplished in some type of way, set their asses up on fucking pedestals, look down upon every damn body else, and want to tell somebody else about not bullying. Yet you are bullies. And then when you become an adult and now you are out into the working field and you are at this point expected to be a productive member of society, you are expected to go to work, you are expected to pay your taxes, you are expected to take care of yourself and take care of your own damn children and every damn thing, you got a government and wealthy persons in power who are, are, are consistently bullying you and you dare not do to them what they do to you. Okay, and then once you are grown, come to find out that this is literally what the United States of America is run on. Manipulation, control, lies, deceptions, bullying, submission. See, these are things that they don't teach you in school, not in Bible school. Nor in primary, secondary, or any other damn school. They didn't even teach you this shit in college. Okay? And it's not till you awaken that you find out about the witches and the warlocks and the secret societies and the cults and the covens and all the other wicked sinister shit that's going to fuck on. But these are the same damn people that told you as a kid not to fucking bully. They want to tell your children not to bully. Want to convince you that they're supposed to be equal rights and equal pay for this and that and the other. Yet these are the same fucking bullies that mistreat all kinds of people on certain on, on different levels. You bully people because of, uh, uh, of the shade of their skin. You bully people because of the size of them. Their, their, their weight size. You bully people if they don't have a, a, a certain credentials or, or a educational level to your liking. You bully, all your, you, you, they just bully you. You bully people if they are not who you want them to be. If they ain't talking the way you want them to talk and acting the way you want them to act, you bully them. If they won't sell out to you, you bully them. If they got a backbone, 
the outspoken, awaken in any way. You bully them. This is the world we live in. This is the unspoken truth. Nobody dare speak of these things. No, these are the things that even when you do know, you're supposed to see and not tell. But this is literally what's going on. But anyway, guys. I thank y'all for listening. I thank y'all for watching. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. Oh, wow, guys, I just seen something. What the hell? For some of y'all guys, these individuals, the people that are spying on you, somebody is into organ harvesting, okay? Human organ harvester tra tra traffickers. Somebody could be trying to sacrifice you. They want your organs. So these wealthy persons in power, these official persons in power want your organs. Yeah, human traffickers. They're trying to get you, they're waiting, they're waiting around on something. They, they, they want you traffic, human sex traffic. They want your organs. They want to do other things to you. But ultimately, when they killed you, they want your organs. That's the reason why these official persons in power, these wealthy men and women are watching you. But um, if y'all like to contact me um, or, or follow me, okay, um, you can find the information in the description box below. Spirit wants you to know whomever you are, you, you will be very successful, which is another reason why you're being watched by so many people. Um, you just got to be really careful, okay? Because there, there's a whole lot of people who are not good who are watching you and have bad intentions for you, okay? Um, as always, guys, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Y'all be careful.